So before we do another check, we put a transparent glass or acrylic on the table. Then we go to software and we click head detect. First, we move up the carriage. Then place head detect. Then we can see the knob move out. After detect, then it's go back and carriage back to home position. Then we can start to do another checkpoint. We go to the software and we go to check to do another check print. Also be sure that table with the one black paper or acrylic and also we finish the detect the option as before to detect the head before between the print head and the acrylic or paper to be sure the material will not scratch the print head. If we not detect the goods we not be sure we can go to Z axis, we do up and down and again and here reset is for if you click reset then the the carriage will be go to down position, the zero position. So we not click reset just up or down to be safety. After finish we go to go back to the print confirm. We put X edge go to the not check print. For example, we print on 100 for X position. And when you click on, then we go to the setting position to print. If you click off, then the cache will start printing right now, the current position. And then we click print. Then the print will start to print another check print out. Then another check print finish. Then from the acrylic board. So this is the another check of the print. We can see is black, cyan, magenta, yellow, and here is white, here is varnish. What we see like this. We can see the white over print out and varnish. So after print, we can use the transparent acrylic, go with one black paper, then it's more easy to see the nozzle. So we can see the nozzle check, the white channel one, two, three, four, all are printed out. Diao 
So this is the not check print on the transparent acrylic after print. So it's better we put a uh, black paper at the bottom of the transparent background. So it's easier to see the not check. So here we can see the nodal check for white channel one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, all are printed out. And this is the, the color. Color is you can only see on the table. All are printed out. And then we see the varnish. Because the varnish is transparent, so it's more hard to see. We can see also the varnish is printed out. Small lines, not to check lines. See the one is here, one is not a check, color not a check, and wet not a check. Or oh, print out some. So um, this is the method to check the node print good or not. If you cannot get a good node check, like uh, you can only get less than 90% nodes print out. So please do the cleaning job to put flush the print head for each color. Again, do several times, then do not check again. If you still cannot get a good node check, over 90%. So you need to contact full support team to get solution to how to clean it. The main problem question, you cannot get a good node check if you are new print head, almost because you are the first time to load the ink to the print head. So there are lots of air to the print head not flushing out. So you just keep doing some uh, more cleaning job. But if you Print head is used for a long time and you cannot get a good not a check print. So you need to check if you print head is get a clock. So you need to do some flushing job or cleaning job. Then do the not a check print again to get a good not a check print. Okay, so this is all the procedure to print the not a check print for focus atlas printer. Thank you. So from the node check print, we can see this, the first one is black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. From the channel, we can see all the channel are coming out properly. Only the black have one nozzle, it's not printed out. So we can do the clean again from the carriage button for color. If you have a new print head, you got one nozzle not printed out. That means this nozzle have air, air bubble, have air inside of the ink tube or inside of the print head. So we need to keep purge, flushing the ink from the print head. After do several seconds, several, several times, then you will get fully printed out like this. And also it printed the white at the front of the color. Because the white paper, so we cannot see the white. Here we can see this the white lines print out. The white lines print out. First channel, one, two, three, four, five. Or print out. And also, we can see the varnish. It's print at the front of the white. 
here is the varnish. It's also printing out the lines, some small lines. For better see, it's better to print at the black material or the transparent material. So let's see. This is for the not check print. This is color. This is for color. K C M Y. And this is for black. This is for white. And at front of the color is varnish. Here's varnish. It's another check print. So in one word, we must be sure the white color and the varnish, all the nozzle are printed out. And no less than 90% nozzle print out. If you have the nozzle less than 90%, nozzle are not jet out. So you need to do the head cleaning to be sure all the ink are printed out before you print a job. So this is not check print. If you do a long time, long time cleaning, still cannot get a good not check print. So you need to double check if you print the head, it's used for a long time. It's not maintained well to get a clock. So you need to ask focus support team to know how to get a better solution.